So Gil Gun Lance is the exact same way in which we use it in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. A little bit different from 3U, but if you played the Gun Lance in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, you're you're okay with knowing that everything that you've learned there will successfully transfer over here. All the moves and everything else is exactly the same, so if you're used to that comfortable blanket, you're gonna go right back in it, no problem. Okay, Striker Gun Lance is a little bit interesting. See, the whole striker class for the most part, if you played Monster Hunter games like Monster Hunter Freedom, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, it plays like that. So the way the weapons played then is how they play now. So for Gunlance, who actually appeared in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, it will play the same way that it played back then. You do not have a slam. Like, you know when you do your 1-2 and then you slam the weapon down, then let go of your shells? That move doesn't exist for you, unfortunately. But, hey, you still have your weapon, weapon fire and you can pretty much use everything else as you normally would. Uh, it's just that you don't have a slam, and instead of that last slam, you get an extra poke. It's not too bad. Truth be told, coupled with all your extra uh, hunter arts, it's not that bad of a trade-off. In my opinion, it's still quite viable. Okay, Aerial Gun Lance is a little, little interesting. For the most part, it plays very similar to that of the Striker Gun Lance on the ground. Now, instead of actually having a back hop, you have a forward roll. Uh, you still get the sidestep either way, but your back hop actually gets replaced. Excuse me, your back hop gets replaced with a forward hop. Excuse me. You can use this forward hop to actually launch yourself off of monsters, in which you can actually slam with. So in order to actually slam your gun lance down, you need to first hop off of monster. Use either X to slam, or you can first combo with the wet. Excuse me, not the weapon fire, but a shell into X to slam into the release of the slam or weapon fire. It's pretty cool. You'll see that I practice it over here on this bullfango. Just the leap, and then the leap with the shell, then into the weapon fire after the slam. For the most part, it's also really viable with the gun lance. It's a lot of fun actually to use, but truth be told, it's all about preference. I will be using this personally for the gun lance. It's not that bad. Now, a depth gun lance is really interesting. Truthfully, for the most part, it performs the exact same way the gill gun lance does. In my only, in my, in all of my work with it, two differences. One, the adept counter, and two, you cannot reload shells after you fire them instantly. So normally you would shell, tap a double A uh, again, and then you get a reload and you can shell again. That's not the case. You have to first use up all your shells. But the counter is actually where it's really going to be at. Like I said before, all your attacks are the exact same as the guild. So if you play guild, this is... It's homey to you. It should be anyway. You can use your, your counter to actually reload all of the shells in your, in your lance and then fire them all away with uh, a slam into, you know, the the shotgunning, if you will. You could do that if you like, and if you do want to play that way, I highly recommend using normal shotgun lances, who will greatly benefit from having the ability to do so. With a higher shell count, normal shotgun lances do greater damage than others when you do the full shell release. And if you're going to be using the adept gun lance in the way in which it's supposed to use it, I highly recommend you guys work them together. In my opinion, the best coupling out of any of the gun lances in 